We're beginning at 530 with new video out of Westerly showing water. They are rushing through the Windjammer Surf Bar. Thank you for joining us. I'm Mike Bontecovo and I'm Shannon Heggie. This restaurant and music venue sits right on the ocean and it's not the first time it's been pummeled by a storm. 12 News reporter Lauren Brill spoke with a co-owner and joins us now from Westerly with what they're dealing with now. Lauren. Well, those here at Windjammer Surf Bar say they are about 60% done. There's still a lot of sand and debris to clean up, but they are happy with the progress that they've made in this short amount of time. This is the moment waves crashed through the Windjammer Surf Bar. Surveillance video shows water coming through the windows of the Westerly business, smashing through the bar and scattering the floor with debris. Now they're picking up the pieces days later. I think we're in a good place. Co-owner Amy Treffis says this is the first time they've hired a disaster restoration company, a crew of about 20 people cleaning up the damage since Monday. They've come in and they've made a enormous amount of progress in the last day. Uh, they were actually down here while the storm was occurring. They've pumped out the water that covered the floors, now using dehumidifiers to dry things out, sweeping up sand and debris, slowly rebuilding the bar and boarding up the windows. And this business is no stranger to storm cleanup been here since 1921, mm -hmm. so we've been through every hurricane and storm there's been, and we're still here. Uh, Sandy was far worse, but this is reminiscent of it. Sand still covers their parking lot and most of the street crews throwing out large debris in these dumpsters. There's there's positive attitudes, which is unheard of. They will be closed for a bit, having to cancel events like their New Year's Eve celebration, but they felt supported by the community. Motivating, so they want us back. We want to be back and we'll get there soon. One of the co-owners, Amy, tells me they're hoping to reopen by April, but it could be sooner. In Westerly, Lauren Brill, 12 News.